we have this tremendous unique secret sauce that is built in large part due to our, our various like immigration patterns. But Hispanic advocacy groups in Denver don't want that sauce to be so secret anymore. Years and years of DACA recipients, undocumented immigrants being tossed back and forth like a football, like a political football. Uh, we just had to get creative in, in coming up with solutions. They launched the Here to Work campaign on the Colorado Capitol steps alongside state leaders. I believe in these common sense solutions. In hopes President Biden will grant work permits for long term undocumented immigrants. Provide an opportunity for millions of people that have been living in the shadows over the past couple decades feel comfortable without the fear of hearing a knock at the door asking them to leave. That knock is something that's been on Antonia Pena's mind for the last 25 years. She's lived in Colorado, undocumented. Dejamos nuestro país viniendo a buscar mejores oportunidades. Eh, entonces el miedo es algo que vive día tras día, hora tras hora. Eh, me he preparado yendo al colegio, siendo indocumentada, pero me gustaría tener un trabajo eh, Profesional. Here to work would also help people like Alex Munoz Valenciano with Voces Unidas. He's also a DACA recipient. If DACA were to go away, um, then DACA, current DACA recipients could also uh, look at this as an, as an alternative to DACA. They say programs for migrants who are just arriving are important, but here to work focuses on people who've been in their communities for decades. For those individuals that have been contributing to the tapestry of the American dream in our country. They say President Biden granting temporary protected status for Venezuelans in September was a good step, but they're looking for more. The Colorado Hispanic advocacy groups will head to Washington, D.C. for the national Here to Work Day of Action on November 14th. Yep, you absolutely hear leaders in Denver say that is the single biggest game changer that would deal with the, the constraints that all these families are facing. And this is just the beginning, Kyle. All right, Lawrence Capiti, thank you.